to another Artifact Friday where we highlight something that we have hidden away in our archives here at the Michener House. Today is the first of a few videos we're going to be doing to celebrate Remembrance Day and to highlight some of the military history we have in the community. So today our item is actually uh, pretty neat, a bit different. It is a set of coveralls used for flight in the Royal Canadian Air Force. So we have this rather plain, I guess, jumpsuit. It's made out of cotton in a, a gabardine blue, technical color that they have here in the label. And these are dated from March 1955, based on the date of issuance when they issued the set of coveralls to a very specific member of the Air Force. So this um, was a member of the Royal Canadian Air Force. It was a uniform for their Squadron 405. Did see service during World War II. It was based primarily out of the Maritimes and that was where their service was based out of. Uh, it is still an active squadron and it has moved into a more, I guess, anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface combat roles. So they basically watch the ocean, make sure that there is no enemy ships or submarines entering the area. They also do anti-drug, uh, anti-pollution and fishery patrols as well. They uh, serve in the area of the Maritimes as well as in the Arctic region. So they are very busy. They also have a very large role in non-combat peacetime conditions, so they have stepped up and served the Canadian public during natural disasters such as the ice storm that occurred in Quebec and the eastern Ontario as well as flooding in southern Manitoba. So this is, this jumpsuit has a few details on it. As you can see on the left arm it does have a Canada patch just to indicate what country it's from. It has another patch here, but does feature the crowns so that would represent uh, the royal aspect, so the uh, connection we have to the British monarchy, as well as a pair of wings and um, a globe. We also have on the other side another Canada patch, as well as the squadron's official insignia, which is described in very detailed as an eagle's head erased facing to the sinister and holding in the beak a sprig of maple. Don't ask me what they mean by erased or facing to the sinister. I'm not exactly sure, but I can definitely tell you that it does in fact have a sprig of maple leaves in its mouth. So it's a very detailed. It does have um, the description of, of the military squadron, the Royal Canadian Air Force, as well as their Latin motto as well. So this would have been uh, a piece of a uniform that would have been actively worn during flight and would have really seen a lot of use on a fairly regular basis. So it would be by no means a ceremonial piece of uniform, but a very practical one. So we really hope you enjoyed this peek at Royal Canadian Air Force flight coveralls. Mm -hmm. And we hope you tune in again next week to see something else that's interesting and unique.